Hello, accountability buddies. I'm Les, and this is another episode of Les is More Healthy. I am at a beach in Massachusetts. I'm on a ride. I'm nine miles into my ride so far, um, and I'm at the first beach in Massachusetts that I've ever been to that is not completely crowded with people by noon. Um, so it's about 11.30 noonish here. Actually, I think it is past noon now, now that I think about it. Um, and I just had a realization as to why that is. Um, and it's because there are green heads here. Um, tons and tons of green heads. I've already been bit three times in the probably 15, 20 minutes I've been here. Um, if you've never been on a beach with green heads, they are not fun. <laughs> Their bite is like a deer fly. They're about the same size as a deer fly. Um, they leave a giant welt, even if they've only bit you for like a second. Um, and it hurts. It is, I don't know if it's going to itch or not, but um, I can tell you right now that the bites hurt. Um, so anyway, I am here on the beach and I thought I'd re-record my health check-in now that my... Um, reports are in. I had a blood work done. Um, my doctor was pretty happy with where things were. I had my A1C came through and it's dropped by a full whole point. So I'm at 5.8. I was at 6.8 four months ago. Um, you know, it goes up by a point um, in the winter for me because I didn't exercise in the winter. So um, we're gonna try not to have that happen again this winter. But, um, so yeah, so my blood glucose, my A1C has been pretty stable since I started riding again. And um, so it's down to 5.8. So that was really good news. All of my other blood work came in like in the normal range, in some cases the low normal range. And uh, my cholesterol, it has dropped down um, to low normal, which is exactly what we want. We want to see that. Um, so cycling is paying off. I, I am on a cholesterol medication. My blood pressure is really good as well. So basically all the stuff, um, that your doctor wants you to work on, um, uh, to show your health and your wellness, uh, came back as really positive. So I'm really, really, happy with those results. Um, I didn't know what the results were going to come back like. I was kind of nervous about it, particularly the cholesterol, because um, it had been pretty high and I do have a family history of high cholesterol um, and heart disease. So, um, but that all goes hand in hand with diabetes. You know, all of that is connected. And, um, but having, having those markers come back um, positive, makes me super happy. Um, I did have a conversation with my doctor about fueling my body during rides and the conversation was basically like I need to take my blood sugars while I'm on a ride. So that is something that I'm trying to do regularly and so um, I did take my blood sugar when I when I got to the spot point. I think I've been riding for like 45 minutes ish. Um, and I was about nine miles into my ride and my blood sugar was at 155 and that's like probably three hours, two hours after I'd eaten. I will say that um, I am having an issue with getting queasy after eating. So um, that's, that'll be something that I talk to her about the next time I go out. So, um, but the conversation in terms of fueling is like, check where your blood sugars are. If your blood sugars, for me, um, the advice was if my blood sugars are getting down around 80, then I should take in 15 grams of carbs. So um, basically that is um, what I've been bringing with me is one of these fruit strips. Um, these are 12 grams of carbs for 50 calories. Uh, so basically looking at... Um, taking my blood sugar, seeing where that's at. I'm going to take my blood sugar again when I leave here. I've been here for like half an hour and um, we'll see what that looks like at that point. So it'll have been about half an hour after 
15 grams of carbs. It's supposed to be 15 grams of carbs and then take your blood sugar again in 15 minutes and then adjust as needed. So, you know, some of this advice is not overly practical when I'm riding my bike. So that is something that I'm thinking about in terms of like building into my rides. Like I can't realistically stop on my ride every half hour, take my blood sugar and then uh, ride eat, rest, and, and then take my blood sugars again in 15 minutes. Um, that would just really extend a ride that is 20 miles long into hours. And that's not really what I want to do. So um, I really wish my insurance company would approve a continuous blood sugar monitor, but that's not going to happen because they're cheap. And um, so I'm going to have to monitor um, those blood sugars and see where they are, what it says, and then see what happens. Um, yeah, that's, that's the extent of that. Um, got another green head that's found me. Great. Green heads, they are brutal. Um, so yeah, so pretty happy with the results of my doctor's appointment, pretty happy with the advice in terms of fueling my body. Um, also, she pointed out that it's hard to determine without the numbers for the blood glucose readings. Um, if it's dehydration that's causing me to feel like crap, or if it's, if it's my blood sugars, because I am on a medication that can allow my blood sugars to drop pretty drastically, but I'm also prone to profuse sweating. I don't know if that's a medication thing. Uh, it very well could be, um, but I do bring the electrolyte drink with me now. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying real hard to get around or get past the difficulty that I've been having in terms of like feeling like I'm bonking and having that impact my recovery time. Um, I am hoping for today to be between 30 and 50 miles. Um, I don't, I don't know where this ride is going to end up in terms of mileage. Um, so I guess we'll just see. I am using the Osmo Action 3 to record this. I'm stand, sitting way too close to get a good good um, focus with this camera, um, but whatever, uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, the audio is what is important. I have had a cup of coffee here on the beach. Um, I am going to record a, I did record a coffee outside because I already made the cup of coffee, but then I'm going to go over my new coffee setup so that you all can see it. And uh, maybe set one up for yourself. This is a very small coffee outside setup. It is really only good for boiling water um, and not much else. So um, I'm gonna get into that now or after this. Um, what I do wanna do is thank everyone who's here and um, just say that I appreciate uh, all of you for being here, all of the new subscribers, all the old subscribers, the people who've been here with me since the start. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all of you who are new here. I appreciate those of you who clicked on the content for the uh, Ozark Trail G1 Explorer. Oh, some geese are getting into it now. Um, I appreciate... They're fighting with each other. Um, if, you, if you came here for the Ozark Trail G1 Explorer and you stuck around, um, I appreciate you for sticking around. Hopefully you find this type two diabetes content helpful. Um, if not, thanks for sitting through it and listening and all of that fun stuff. And, uh, with that, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Thanks and bye.